plant. These plants are plastic. Oh. Today we're playing It's Not Me, It's My Basement. So, let's get into it. It's morning. I have I have to make breakfast. Ooh. A friend hanging out with his little buddy. A little buddy hanging out with his friend. I want that. <laughs> That's cute. I want this one. Actually, no, I like this one better. Can I have this? I want the little buddy. Uh, an old train set. It is. It isn't fun to play with as it used to be. Oh. My toy box. I try to keep my toys neat. My mom likes when my toys are neat. Nothing I need from the, this drawer. A hamper. There's no use for it for this anymore. Oh. Let's leave. Uh let's go to door one or door two. Mom and dad's room. The bathroom. I don't have to go right now. Okay. Down the stairs. <gasps> A plant! These plants are plastic. Oh. They weren't. If they weren't, they'd be dead by now. Oh. Painting? Okay. Not a drawer. Nothing I need from this drawer. Okay. Uh. Oh. Oh. I was like a face. This is the TV. Dad set this up for me so that I can watch VSH tapes on days that we were stuck inside. But now that he isn't here, I find it hard to rewind the v VHS tapes on my own. I'm scared I might break them. Cran? I like to draw and watch TV at, at the same time. Maybe one day I can do that again. Oh. Drawer? Nothing I need from this drawer. Other drawer? Nothing I need from this drawer. Couch. Dad said he... Dad said he painted this painting. I don't like it as much as I like the other paintings. Bookshelf. At least the books haven't been collecting dust. Plant? These are plastic plants. If they weren't... If they weren't, they'd be dead by now. Basement? I can't open the door yet. I need to make breakfast first. Oh. Uh. Is this the kitchen? Oh. Uh. Calendar? It's the third of the month. Still got bread? Just enough. Two slices. You got bread. Dirty dishes have piled in the kitchen sink. Mom always told me not to use the oven unless she was around. Fridge? What do you want to do? Look at the drawer, look in the fridge. Look in the drawer. Oh! This drawing has been on this fridge forever. Ego? E-G-O. Mom and dad told me that all great artists signs their work on the bottom. <laughs> we still got? Yeah, peanut butter. I thought so. You got peanut butter. Oh, uh, look in the fridge. Good, we haven't run out of jelly yet. You got jelly. That's everything I need, right? I can only make one sandwich, but... It'll have to do. 
sandwich made, but we're running low on groceries again. I'll make a lesson go to the market, but I have to feed them first. Who? Who are we feeding? Uh, grocery shopping? What is it? Nothing I need from this drawer. What's in here? There's nothing I need to go in here for. Oh, mirror. Oh, I can't leave the house yet. I need to feed them first. Uh, them? Okay. It's breakfast time for you guys. Remember to share. All fed. I better go write the grocery list before I forget. What? What? Uh, what? <coughs> Alright, all written down. I guess we're going to the market today. from Coraline, the pink palace, swing, the swing says broken, I can only ask someone, I can't ask anyone to fix it for me, I just hope others swing doesn't break, Well, here we are again. I hope Mrs. Baylor has it today. Who's Mrs. Baylor? Uh, flower? Oh, Ambry, you're back. Good morning. Good morning, Lucille. Can I have some jelly or a uh, jam? Whichever. You know, normally I would ask someone to say please. But you're special. You don't gotta. Sorry, I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, I'll get that ready for you. Lickily split. Thank you. So, Ambry. Is this a third... This is the third week in a row you came here just like this. I like this outfit. You know if your mom and pa never needed help with laundry, I don't mind. Oh no no no, of course not. I just wanted to let you know. It's alright. They'll be back around once they get over their sickness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm hoping they'll get better soon. Yeah, me too. Thank you, Lucille. Uh... Bread. Ah, Emory. Back again, I see. Hello, Mr. Wilson. Might have some more bread? Well, sure. Sure. Well, sure, sure. Of course. What kind? Uh, whatever kind. Right, right. Here, I'll give you some whole wheat and some sugar sourdough on the house. You'll like that kind, right? Yes, I do. Thank you. Say, uh, Embry, how is everything? Your folks are alright? Oh, yes. They're fine. Well, not fine, but you know. Oh, right. Well, uh, my kid's back in town this weekend. If your parents want, we could come over and maybe help around the house, bring over some more bread. Oh, no, no, that's fine. Mom and Dad keep telling me they don't want anyone over. They're in Paris. Right, right. Well, just tell them I offers, offered anyways. Anyways, they'll need it. Right, I will. 
Thank you, Mr. Wilson. Mrs. Castillo sells milks and other dairy products of at her stand. Uh, flowers? Wait, what? Esther sells flowers here. Flowers aren't needed, so I won't stop by here anymore. I miss gardening with mom. Oh, what is this? Oh, me? You don't have any today either, do you? I'm afraid not, kiddo. This is like the third shopping trip in the row that you were that you were empty. I know, I know. And you know, if I had any spared, I'll give it to ya. You really don't have anything. Look, kid. All I need to be sold. I got people to feed too, you know. Well, kid. I promise. Next time I have extras, it's all going to you. All right. See you later. Be good, kid. Be good, kid. That's all I came here for. I guess there's uh nothing left to do but go home. But there's honey. Honey sells honey. I like honey, but it's way too sticky to bring home with the way things are right now. Uh, I like embry. Everything is put away. It's getting dark early, huh? I have to feed them dinner. Then, before it gets too dark. I hope they're not too hungry after this morning. They eat more than they used to. But there's only so much food I can ask for at the market. If I ask for too much, they're gonna start wondering where all it's going. You eat so much now. I can hardly keep up. Dinner's ready. Uh. Dad painted this, I think. It's from where he used to live. He said he would take me one day. Uh. Door. It's dinner time. It's dinner time. It's dinner time. It's dinner time. Dinner is done. I'm tired. I'll go to bed. Are you not gonna eat, Embry? Okay. I think this one's in very room. Uh, bed. It's time to go to bed. Do you think? Do you see how easy it is? They grew so. They grew so quickly. I thought we all have to wait for forever. It's incredibly easy for a flower to grow in, right, in the right condition. But you have to be careful too. Because as easy it is for a flower to bloom, it is just as easy to walter and weather away. Without, constant, con without a constant eye on things, it's very easy for a flower to walk. So you must remember to take care of the littlest things. Because without that care, your whole garden will fall apart. Oh! Oh. They're banging on the door. They haven't done that in a while. I should check on it, right? Dead. 
dead? Oh, is there- Is Amber's mom dead? They're hungry. What do I do about it? I already fed them dinner. And I have to go try and save as much food as I can. But if they're hungry, I, I can't just let them go hungry, right? Or else they might... Eat them? Fine. I'll give them just a little more food. But no more than that. It's bedtime after all. No, no, I can't use this. I need this for breakfast tomorrow. Not this either. Okay, this should be enough for them. I hope. It's morning. I have to go make breakfast. And I also have to do chores today. What chores am I doing today? I should probably start making lists like mom used to do. Uh... Did you just- You fell asleep with your art- Okay. Breakfast, breakfast. What can I make for breakfast? I'll just use whoever is here. I'll just go make bread. I'll just- I'll just got bread yesterday and jelly. We still have peanut butter and like, stuff. Yeah, I'll just make another sandwich. I just hope it's filling enough that they can't cause- cause a rackets again. Uh, bread's here. Peanut butter. Oh, nothing you need from the pantry now. Fridge. Butter. Yeah, I use it. Let's put your feet them then to let it go bad. You got butter. I use some chopping. Yet. Yeah. Breakfast is ready again. But, um,. There was something else I need to do. I have to do in here. Uh, what's it again? A calendar? Oh, right. Today is the fourth of the month. I almost forgot to write it down. Today marks four months. Today marks four months since it happened. Four months since the monster appeared. Four months since I've been living like this. Four months that I've been keeping. I've been kept. That I've been kept keeping them fed so they don't eat me like they ate them. Uh, oh. Oh. I have to stay here and take care of things. I'm the only one who can. I try to keep the house clean. As I clean, I can. But I can't clean everything by myself, and I don't know the right way to clean most of it. I usually, I usually try to clean the windows. The house can get really dark when they're not clean. Mom taught me that. My parents. The night they appeared, the sound that followed, it sounds like they were eaten, but I didn't actually see it happen, it's just th what I think. And ever since I didn't see it happen, I think that maybe they were somehow, maybe I just have to wait here for them to come back, I don't know, it's all very confusing, I just uh, what is that saying the adults say? Take it by day. What do I do? I mean, it's working, isn't it? I'm okay. And if I just keep those things down there fed, everything else will be okay too. There's not much to do at home without mom and dad around. I've been reading a lot. I wish I could be like those other kids and I wish I could be like these kids in these books Cause maybe then I know what I'm supposed to do The door again? But this But this isn't their normal feeding time Ambery 
Are you there? Mom? Amory, it's okay. Mom, you. I know you must have been so scared, but everything's better now. You can open the door. Amory, I know you're there. You don't want to see your mother again? I miss you so much. You must be lonely without us. Please open the door. You are not my mom. Alright, kiddo. This isn't funny anymore. Open the door before I get mad. I know you're there, Embry. Open up. My dad. My dad doesn't talk to me like that. Is it done? Embry? Please let me out. I'm tired of this. Why do you sound like that? I hate this. And you hate it too, don't you? So why are you still doing this? Just open the door already. Monster. That's what you call us, right? That's why you will open the door? You. How can you say such a thing? How can you treat us this way? Do you... Do you hate yourself this much? What are you talking about? You're talking nonsense. What do you want? I'm keeping you fed, isn't that enough? What else do you want from me? I want out. I want out. I want out. Let us out. I... I... I need fresh air. It's okay. Everything's okay. I... I never heard them talk before. I do not even think they could. They're getting smarter, I guess. This is ba that's bad. What? What am I supposed to do then? Should I just let them? Should I just let them starve? No. What am I saying? If I let them go hungry, then the only thing they have left to eat is. But if I can feed him, the way I am now. No, no, it's gonna be okay. I'll figure something out. And I'll just keep feeding them until I do. Speaking of feeding, it's dinner time. Uh. I'm not gonna lie, Amber has a nice house. time again I just hope they don't I hope they don't try something like that earlier nothing I need from the cabinet look at the fridge there has to be something here I never end up touching this wheel cheese kind of heavy when it, it was supposed to be good but it's probably collecting mold now some people like mold in their cheese though right I'll just give it to them. You got cheese. I guess we're feeding them moldy cheese. They're quiet. I'm not going to announce it's dinner time. I'll just throw it down. They're fed. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm going to bed. Maybe you're guilty, queen. It's time to go to bed. I don't do it easy, isn't it? Fun. Good, that's how it's supposed to feel. Whenever I'm feeling worked up, I just start brainstorming the next painting I want to make. And I, 
and I know even on the worst days I can always come back to painting to make it better. I will ever be as good Will I ever be as good as you as painting as you are? You could be. You could be. You can be whatever you want. Really? Mm hmm. Something important to remember about painting, though. It's true that if you make a mistake, you can just paint over it. But you can only paint over it so many times before it begins to look jumbled and muddy. So you can make sure you know what you're doing when you're going in so your painting doesn't end up ruined. What? They're banging on the door again? This is the second night in a the row. They're still mad. Uh, what's it over here? What am I supposed to do? I know food is the only thing they want now, but food also calms them down. I need them to, I need to calm them down. But what's the amount they already eat? What am I gonna do? Go back to bed. I can't. I can't just give it to them. I'll pretend I slept through the whole thing. I'm going to back to bed. It's morning. I have to go make breakfast. How much food is there left anyways? I may have to go back to the market later. Maybe there'll be meat today. I think it's what keeps them full, most full. But I have to feed them breakfast before I have to leave the house. Uh. What? The? Oh. Uh, I usually try to avoid giving them cereal because it's, well, not the easiest to transport. I'll just throw them the box, all the boxes. We really have run into slow, haven't we? I was just at the market, and each and each visit is closer together than the last. There, what's that thing? The thing Dad always said, eating me out of the house and home. I got no choice. After I feed them, I definitely had to go back to the market today. I just hope this is enough for breakfast to begin with. You got cereal. It's the fifth of the month. What year does this take place in? Uh. Here we go again. You know, it's just cereal. All of it together should at least be enough for breakfast. fine. They seem fine with it. I better head out now, then I'll make- I better head out now, then to make sure I have enough for dinner. Ooh, doo -doo. Amber walks fast. again. I have to talk to Mrs. Baylor before I go anywhere else. If she has any meat today, I have to make sure I get it before anyone else. I'll beg her for it if I have to. 
please, Mrs. Baylor. I'll take anything. Uh, Mrs. Mrs. Baylor? Good morning, Embry. Oh, you seem pretty happy today. <laughs> Does it show my face? I'm just excited. There's good news for you today. Good news? For me? Does that mean you have me today? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, not exactly. It's a different kind of good news. Oh, what is it then? Well, you see, there's a traveling doctor visiting in town today. A doctor? I heard he's quite well known. Supposed to be real good, yeah? I know you said the doctors here couldn't help your parents, so maybe he can. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll, uh, I'll try and find him later then. Oh, there's no need to go looking. I can see him talking to Mr. Wilson right now. Oh, really? Why don't you go talk to him? Oh, I'm just so excited for you, Squirt. I'll just be watching from here. Go on. Introduce yourself. Uh, right. Uh, you're glowing. H Hello? Ah, uh, Embry. You're just in time. I'm sure Mrs. Bailey already told- Mrs. Baylor already told you, but this is Dr. D-Light. D-Light? The one and only. I'm quite a delight, if you do. Wait, I'm quite a delight, if I do see so myself. So you're Embry. Folks around here were telling me that you needed some help. It's quite so nice to meet you. It's quite so nice to meet you. You are a doctor? In duty, so. You look like a clown. Embry, hey now. A clown? Oh, I certainly hope I'm a funny one then. Here, Embry, why don't you introduce Delight to your parents? If anyone can help them, if anyone can help them, he should be able to. Yeah, right. I'll do my best to assist. Go on then. Lead the way. Milk? Milk? You know, I should promote healthy eating habits. I can't deny that I quite enjoy a glass of milk and some cookies now again. Really? Even doctors like you? Even doctors like yourself? Of course. I'm allowed to cheat every every once in I'm allowed to cheat a day I'm allowed a cheat day every once in a while too. Honey is a per is perfect for this time of year. It really helps to soothe this a sore throat. Yeah, mom taught me that too. Have you been picking up honey for them? Oh uh, no. A sore throat isn't the problem. Bread. They sell bread out here like this? How nice, I can imagine buying a small roll to stack on while you stir stroll. Uh, yeah, I guess. What a nice fruit stand. You know what they say, an apple day keeps the doctor away, but not me. So, you like apples? Not really. <coughs> uh. Flowers. I don't. I don't know if you can tell just by looking at me, but I'm quite a fan of flowers. No, I can tell. The stand is quite empty. Yeah, it is. It's been for a while. I've been waiting for it to restart, but no luck. No worries. I'll sure they have something for you soon. So this is your house? Quite the thicket? Quite the trick it to walk through. Um Mr. Delight? Uh uh. It's the doctor. Right. I didn't want to say it in front of everyone else, but you should go. You can't help me. Hey, don't be like that. I'm sure one of your problem 
I'm sure whatever problem your family has been going through, we can fix it. Every, you go to the market all by yourself? Yes. Is that an issue? Oh, I just, well, it seems like a long way for a child to walk all by themselves. That's all. I'm used to it. I'm used to it by now. So, Embry, what do you like to do? What do you mean? What do you like to do? What are your hobbies? Are you an artist? The stamp on your apron seems to hint at all. I'm quite an artist myself, you know. Oh, nothing. Pardon? I don't really do anything anymore. I guess I read sometimes. Oh, what do you like to read? Hmm, <clears throat> nothing. I see. What? Why don't you tell me a bit about your parents? My parents? Yes, I'm treating them. I should know about them, shouldn't I? Um, well, do you know what afflicted them? Afflicted them? Hmm? Your parents. I've been told they're very sick. So sick that I can't leave the house. But you can't. But you. You seem fine. I was just wondering what I should know about them before I meet them. Um, I wouldn't worry about it. Right, I understand. Apologies if asking... Apologies if asking made you uncomfortable. What? You <laughs> see, it's nice to just stroll through nature every now and again. I guess. Still, don't... Still though, it, w it would surprise me you take this walk so often by yourself. You're not scared of any monsters coming out to get you in the woods? Emery, are you alright? Huh? No, sorry, it's just... Looked like I upset you. I'm okay. Don't worry. Hmm? You. Seems like you're under a lot of stress. The child was parents so sick, the child has to become their caretaker. That must be so difficult. Please don't worry. I'll do all I can do for you to return. I'll do all I can to return you to a normal life. Shut up. Eh? I told you you can't help me. You should just go. Well, can I- can I at least try? You really- you really still want to see them? I do. Here we are. Your house seems nice. Very cozy. Yeah, sure. What's this room? This? This leads to the dining room. Mom always hated it. Mom always hated it because it's so from far from the kitchen. She was going to switch furniture around, but yeah. Oh. Oh my, the heavy locked door. May I inquire as what's inside? I mean, I'd rather if you didn't. Ambry. Are they in there? Can we open the door? What? No. Hey, hey, it's alright. You can tell me. Why are they locked up like this? I don't know what's down there. But whatever it is, it's really bad. And we can't open the door. Embry. See, I told you, you couldn't help me. I'll still like to try. You're not going to leave until I open the door, right? Okay. I'll open the door. I just... Uh? Something the matter? My key's gone. That's... I always keep it on with me. Did I drop it in a market or something? Did you bring it to the market? I may... I don't remember. I don't know. I don't remember. Why don't we look around for it there, then? We can check the market after. We're sure it isn't... It isn't here. I'm sure one of the stall owners would have said something if they saw it drop anyways. That's a good point. Let's look around it then, I guess. 
nothing in here. Nothing here. You keep checks of the day? Yeah. Don't most people? Well, yes, but you do it all by yourself? How do you know? These dates are marked off in crayon. A bread box. How cute. Yeah, they had this before I was born. Oh my, you got a big brother? Bread box then? There's a lot of dirty dishes in here. Do you need help with this? No, it's fine. I don't really use the dishes anymore, so... Your oven is in good condition, I guess. I don't really touch it. You must have drawn this picture on the fridge, yes? I did, but it was forever ago. So, let's see here. This is you in the middle and, and both of your parents on the side. Yeah. That's, that's sweet. What a wonderful drawing. Quite a tall pantry. But it seems rather empty. Yeah. What is this room? The bathroom? Do you need to, do you have to go? Oh, no, thank you for asking. What is this room? My mom and dad's room. Well, it used to be. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, there's nothing here. Something in here. A full books shelf made for a full brain. Yeah, there's a lot of books here. And quite a variety to add. How delightful. Oh my, is this a TV I see? Yeah, I'm impressed. These are quite rare around these parts. Yeah, I remember feeling lucky to have one. Very lucky indeed. Does it work? I mean, yeah. Tears just needs to be rewound again. Fascinating. Amber, I see this is your work. Yeah, why? It's beautiful. And thanks. I have to make sure the key is isn't in the house. Still places I haven't checked yet. There isn't? What the? Did you find it? Yeah, I did. But this doesn't make any sense. I never put the key in here before. I don't even remember. Yeah, I suppose it's good that you found it either way. Yeah, I guess so. Alright, open the door now. Seems like a quiet... Seems like quite the long way down. Is there a light switch? It's at the bottom of the stairs, but uh, I think the lights burnt out anyways. I see. Well, let's go down the on then. What? I said we could open the door. I didn't say we can go down. <laughs> what do you mean? Of course we have to go down. That's the whole point, isn't it? No, you can't. Embry, let's go. No! Please, let me... Oh! Look at that. It's time for bed already. Don't worry about it. It's time to go to bed. What? Oh, I did time to go to bed.
That was louder than the other times. I need to go check. The basement door is open. I didn't open it. I definitely locked it before I went to bed. So how is that? Uh, what do I do? Go downstairs. I have no choice. I have to go down there. Because if I don't... It's okay, it's okay. You, why do you look like? You look surprised. I don't see why. I saw by now you realize you and I are one and the same. No, that's that can't be right. It can't? Why can't it be? Oh, that's right. It's because. You think we are a monster, and that's not you, right? You're not a monster. That's why you- that's what you think, right? Monster, monster, monster. We're monsters, but you're not. Is that right? What is that? What- how does that even make sense? There, you're not a monster. You pushed a doctor downstairs. What are you talking about? And no, I didn't. He fell. I tugged his sleeve and he fell. He stumbled and tripped. I didn't push anyone. But you opened the door for him, didn't you? You opened the door and then begged him to not go look inside. Why did you do that? He wouldn't have tripped if you just let him go. You wouldn't have tripped him if you kept the door shut. He wouldn't have been. He wouldn't have even seen the door if you let him in. Maybe what? Maybe he wouldn't have been there to begin with if you weren't such a monster. Why did you bring him here? Oh, Embry. What are you going to do with yourself? What have you been doing all this time? Feeding and feeding and feeding. And for what? I think you feed me because you like it. It makes you feel better than you do, huh? Right? You feed me. And then you feel better, you feel safe, nothing's comforting you. And you know, the funny thing about that is, after that, after days, despite how much you've been feeding me, I'm still hungry. Just a nightmare. But it's gone but it's gone on long enough. Uh Huh? 